Marketers have data spread across multiple sources, such as advertising platforms, CRM systems, and analytics tools for web and app data analysis. This makes it challenging to access all the data in one place. Windsor.ai's connectors and data pipelines perfectly solve this problem. Using Windsor.ai, you can bring data from more than 50 sources into your destination in no time. A destination can be your spreadsheet software, BI tool, or a data warehouse of choice. Currently supported data destinations include Looker Studio, Power BI, Tableau, Excel, Google Sheets, and Google BigQuery, Snowflake, Azure Cloud Storage, Amazon S3, and our Windsor.ai cloud database. Windsor.ai's connectors make it very easy for marketers to retrieve data from all their sources without having to write any code. In this video, you will learn how to get the data from your sources into your data destinations of choice. First, head to the connector you would like to use and sign in with your username. Now the Google Analytics views I have added are loading and you simply repeat the step for all the different connectors where you would like to import data from. Here for this demo, I have Google Analytics, Google Ads and Facebook Ads. Now, once you have added, you head to the data preview. Once you are in the data preview, you will need to select the fields you want to use in your data destination. In this video, I will demo how to get data into Looker Studio, Power BI and Google Sheets. Let's start with Looker Studio. Simply click on the logo and then select the accounts you would like to use with the connector. This default connector, which is called Add and CRM Data and Attribution Connector, connects to all the accounts which you have connected in Windsor's Data Connector platform. Select the accounts. In case there is no account selected, it will automatically load data from all accounts. Now I click Connect and now it populates the field list. And from here, I can then create the dashboard. Now I click create report and now my Looker Studio report is set up. Now, of course, you may want to customize the dashboard a bit to your liking and use the metrics and dimensions you have available uh, once you enter the, uh, the edit mode. Now, let's start looking at getting data into Power BI. First, in this case, we need to select the fields we want to use in Power BI. If you want to get the data in a time series chart or specify date ranges, I recommend you to add the date field. So let's add the date field here. And now here I can specify the date range. We keep it short for seven days. So the data loading is fast in Power BI for the demo. And what we have now here is a blended data set, which gets data from all the accounts which I have connected here, which you can see here. Now I simply go here and click the copy button. And then I head to Power BI. 
and over here you click on get data web paste the url click ok and now the data is loading Now we can see the columns which we have selected before. And we also see that we have all the fields available. Here it makes sense to double check the format. For example, I would like to have the date cast as date. So I change that to date. It already was. Click close and apply. And then I have the data model available. Now I can use it, say let's for example, I'm using the account name and I'm using spend dimension. This will give me the spend on all the accounts. Now simply head back to onboard.winsor.ai in case you want to change your queries, add fields or connect additional connectors. Now let's have a look at how we get data into Google Sheets. Simply we click back here. Now we click on Google Sheets. Now there is, if you click this button here, it will lead you to an install prompt on how to install our Google Sheets plugin, which I have already done here. And now I have already opened the extension, which you can find here. First time you use it, you will need to log in. And then after you simply click on get data into sheet. Now, for this example here, I want to query Facebook data. So I name this data Facebook ads data. Spe specify my target sheet name, which is here Facebook. Select my data source. And now I can select the accounts or I can also just leave it out. In case I leave it out, We'll select all accounts, specify the date range, and the dimensions and metrics I want. I can save the query, load the data, and now the data is here. Now in case you want to schedule that to run more frequently, you can simply turn on the scheduling here in the, the refresh. Now your data will be refreshed every hour. Now, thanks very much uh, for watching this video. Check our video library for data source and destination specific tutorials. I hope you like this video and wish you all the best for setting up your data pipeline.